Hey everyone, Son of Sanguinius here, and today we're going to be continuing our Blood Angels Tactics videos with a look at the Furioso Dreadnought. Alright, so he comes in at 125 points. He is weapon skill 5, plus his skill 4, strength 4, front armor 13, side armor 12, rear armor 10, initiative 4 with 4 attacks at base thanks to the new Blood Angels FAQ, and he has 3 hull points. So for war gear, he is a power fist with a built-in melt gun. Power Fist with a built-in Storm Bolter, a Search for Light, and of course, Smoke Launchers. For special rules, he has Fairy Discharge. Uh, for options, he may replace uh, one Power Fist uh, and its built-in weapon with a Frag Cannon for 5 points. He can replace uh, both Power Fists with a pair of Blood Talons, retaining their built-in weapons for 10 points. He may choose one of the following, replace his Storm Bolter with a Heavy Flamer for 10 points, or replace his Melt Gun with the Heavy Flamer for free. He can take extra armor for 15 points. He may replace his smoke launchers with a magna grapple for free. And he may select a drop pod as a dedicated transport. So, the Furioso Dreadnought. Uh, there was, uh, well, was, there's currently still is some debate as to whether or not, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, the exact role of the Furioso when compared to the Death Company Dreadnought. Um, in the previous video that I did, I stated that the Death Company Dreadnought is probably the better close combat variant of the two. Um, it is true that the Furioso Dreadnought does have a higher armor value at 13 and a higher weapon skill. However, the Dreadnought just, uh, or the Death Company Dreadnought, frankly, just has more attacks. Um, now, you can, you know, kit out the Furioso Dreadnought in a much similar way. However, uh, you're losing uh, the option to take that, uh, that nice frag cannon uh, for five points. Now, uh, there was, uh, you know, some talk about this on things like uh, 1D4chan and things like that. Um, I like to take the Furioso Dreadnought with the Frag Cannon and a Heavy Flamer. Uh, why do I say that? Well, the Frag Cannon is Strength 6, AP nothing, uh, Assault 2, Rending. Uh, and, of course, the Heavy Flamer is Strength 5, AP 4, uh, you know, template, and uh, with the Furioso Dreadnought, you can basically, you know, lay down three uh, Flamer templates uh, on your opponent. And uh, this, to me, means that the Furioso Dreadnought is a good close fire support uh, choice for your other elites, or uh, maybe even, you know, some tacticals, or what, you know, whatever you, whatever you have in mind. Uh, so for me, I would take the Furiosa Dreadnought with the Frag Cannon and the Heavy Flamer, get those three Flamer templates, put them in a Storm Raven alongside your Terminators or your Stern Guard, you know, drop them in, you know, uh, the turn after the Storm Raven comes on, uh, you know, and basically just lay down some Heavy Fire, um, and, uh, just, uh, you know, uh, wreak havoc among your, uh, among your opponent. So, uh, that being said, you know, he's, you know, great, uh, close range support, and front, front armor 13, uh, is definitely something worth considering. The Furioso is much, uh, well, maybe not much more, but definitely a little bit more resilient than your average, um, Dreadnoughts. Uh, but, you know, even if you do kit him out with the Frag Cannon and the Heavy Flamer, um, he's, you know, not too shabby in close combat. At weapon skill 5, he's probably going to be hitting on 3s, um, and wounding on 2s against most things, considering he's going to be, what, you know, strength 10 AP 2. Um, so, you know, he can, you know, drop in alongside, you know, your Terminators or your Stern Gut or whatever, lay down, you know, three uh, Flamer templates, uh, and then charge <laughs> uh, whatever is still alive. So uh, the Furioso, like I said, you know, excellent uh, close fire support and can definitely be damaging in uh, close, close combat. So... Uh, anyway, that's about all I have for this video. Feel free to leave your comments down below, and I will see you guys in the next video.